Hut, hut, hike. Hello again, my fellow Bears fans. Your boy Roy for Chicago Football Talk. Game day is upon us. The Bears are going to play the Jacksonville Jaguars in a little under two hours from now. I wanted to share with you my keys to this game offensively, defensively. And the Bears should actually walk away with a victory in this game. It is hard to even see how the Jacksonville Jaguars could win this game. Starting with their offense, they struggle a lot. They have no deep passing game. While they may be able to threaten you with deep passes, they don't seriously provide a serious threat against the Bears. They have lack of timing downfield between the quarterback and the receivers, Gabbard and their receivers, and I think it stems from their porous offensive line. They don't block very well in the passing game. Their tackles are very susceptible to athletic speed rushers, guys that can dip under. I expect Shane McClellan to actually have a, make an impact in this game because of that fact. And then the interior of their line is susceptible to strength and also stunts and blitzes. So the running game is the main thing that they have to rely on in the passing game to get back to it real quickly they don't even play action pass a lot and when they do it's almost always going to be a bootleg to the right and a play action short pass rarely do they go to the medium length of the field but again I think it's Blaine Gabbert's lack of confidence in his offensive line because they don't pass block well and then also too lack of confidence in his playmakers because they're dropping passes they're not where they're supposed to be so that's what's really led to their passing game to be basically ineffective especially downfield now Gabbert's athletic he's mobile enough to try to make plays he's gamer enough to try to make something out of nothing and extend plays so that is something that I do like to see but not a lot of play action fakes when they do it's going to be a bootleg they try to basically throw out of the shotgun because they know they need the help the best success they have versus the pass is when they actually go with mass max protect on the line but they're getting back to their running game that is their most serious threat I think they're actually going to try to attack the Bears with their full house backfield something they've been using a lot in throughout the regular season throughout their first four games it, the thing is though that kind of plays into the strengths of the Bears hands because they attack the run very aggressively so the only way I think the Bears could, uh, the Jaguars could hurt the Bears is if they break off some long runs with Jennings or Drew, or if they basically get that full house backfield open and then start play action passing off of that, which is something I have seen them try to do. Moving to the other side of the ball offensively, I think the Bears should do well. Their offensive line is going to have to contend with some very tricky blitzes, though, especially if they go into the shotgun formation, as I diagrammed on Chicago Football Talk. Even though this team is a 4-3, when they go against the pass, they oftentimes line up in 3-4 pressures, use zone blitzes, and use a lot of loop arounds, which is the things that the, that plays into the Bears' weaknesses, if you will. So I think the Jaguars, if they want any shot of winning this at home as they unveil their new uniforms, they're going to have to come out uh, with those kind of plays against passing formations. Now, what the Bears can do is actually take advantage of that and line up in shotgun knowing that they're going to blitz in some in way or fashion and expose them where they're weak. The other thing I think the Bears should do, honestly, I know there's a lot of talk about the running game. The running game, they're going to get the, off the bus running in this game. I actually think they should take advantage of the Jaguars' aggressiveness versus the run. They also play... Watching them play against the run was like watching the Bears. Very aggressive versus the run. They send a lot of run blitzes. They read their keys very well. And if they see a fullback moving, they're going to attack it and blitz right away. So I would actually take advantage of that. Come out in some tight end formations, double tight end formations, and play action pass. I would actually play action pass to set up the run. I know the Bears are going to be very tempted to do the opposite. But honestly, I would actually try to pass to set up the run. Even if they do try to run to set up the pass... If the run starts to get shut down because of the Jaguars' aggressive defense, they just need to basically switch to the other the plan that I'm saying they should start with, which is play action pass to open up the run. But anyway, I expect the Bears to actually have a very good game in this game as long as their pass protection can stand up to uh, the 3 4 blitzes when the Jaguars do run them in passing situations. So, this is going to be another test for them to prove themselves, which I'm very much looking forward to. But I don't see anything but a Bears victory in this game. Again, you can always have turnovers, which can change the complexion of the game. And uh, the, the times when the Jaguars have been competitive in any of their games this season is when either Jones Drew broke away for a big run or when they took one of their rare few shots downfield and got lucky and, and made a completion on that. So, I expect a Bears victory. 
Uh, check out uh, ChicagoFootballTalk.com. We'll, we'll have the in-game chat going on if you have your laptop or tablets handy. Also, wherever you are, even if you're at Jacksonville, use the hashtag PoundCFTBears on Twitter because that's where I will be providing my extra analysis between plays as I review every single play live while the games are happening to give you that extra insight you can only find from your boy Roy on Chicago Football Talk. Enjoy the game. Should be another Bears victory, my friend. Peace, and I'm out.